let's learn about rectification of curves okay to rectify a curve basically means to find the length of the arc of a curve between two points okay so if i have x1 y1 over here and if i have x2 y2 over here then to rectify this curve between these two points basically means to find the length of this arc okay so if this is your arc and if you flatten it out you will have a certain length so we want to find out what is this length that this arc has between these two points okay so obviously you would realize that in order for you to be able to rectify a curve your curve must be smooth okay so the condition is a curve is rectifiable between a and b okay where this is your a and this is your b if your curve is smooth between these two points or in other words if your curve is differentiable in this interval okay so if it is differentiable in this interval then only you can find the length of this arc in this interval okay let's suppose you have a curve which is like this okay let's suppose this is your a this is your b this is your c so these are x is equal to a x is equal to b x is equal to c okay i am assuming i have a asymptote at x is equal to b and my curve is something like this okay if this is the case then i cannot find the length between a and c because the length is infinite rook at b the curve is probably going to be like this right so this curve is not smooth it is not continuous so you cannot find the distance or find the length of your arc between a and c okay you cannot find this length okay because it is not differentiable at point b okay therefore the condition is it must be differentiable between this interval or in other words your curve should be continuously smooth okay only then you would be able to find out the length of an arc between two points okay let's try to find out the length of an arc of a curve between two given points okay so let's suppose my points are a and b okay so i want to find out the length of this arc okay or i want to rectify the curve between a and b let's suppose this straight line distance is del c okay similarly over here you would have an x1 x coordinate over here you would have a x2 x coordinate so essentially your distance this distance is going to be what it is going to be x2 minus x1 let's call this as del x okay so this distance is del x and similarly this distance is going to be what over here you have a y2 over here you have a y1 so this distance is going to be y2 minus y1 or let's call it as del y okay so as per my pythagoras theorem what i have is del c square is equal to del y square plus del x square right i can divide this equation by del x square and i would get del c square upon del x square is equal to del y square upon del x square plus 1 okay now let's see what happens when a approaches b okay as a tends to b my arc becomes shorter okay if a comes over here then this is the arc if a comes over here then this is the arc if a comes over here then this is the arc as a tends to b we reach to a scenario where they are just like this okay so at this point the length of the arc and the straight line distance between these two points is same right as the two points become coincidental 